What is up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick review on the Bandai Band Presto Dragon Ball Z Clear Eyes Super Saiyan Son Goku. Let's start the review off by taking a closer look at the packaging. We have an awesome image of the statue here. Same image on this side. Just Clear Eyes Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan Goku on the bottom here. Exact same image on this side, just smaller. Forgot to take the price tag off. It is $29.99 here in Canada at our local GameStop. If you're an Edge Platinum member, then it's $26.99. So on the bottom here, just got Clear Eyes, Bandai, and all that good stuff. Black and white image on this side. We got your warnings, disclaimers, barcodes, all that juicy stuff on the bottom. And we have Dragon Ball Z, Clear Rise, Band Presto Dragon Ball series. You got your Tamashi Nations uh, little sticker there on top here, and you got another little barcode. So. Pretty much wraps up packaging. Let's get down to the statue. We'll start by getting a closer look at the statue. Now it does come with a little stand here. This one was uh, a nightmare to get on. It doesn't snap on as easy as the other ones. I had a bit of difficulty. I don't know why. Other than that, that's the only thing it comes with. And you just have to snap on the base on the bottom. Awesome face sculpt. I think they did a great job. Everything that's painted on this one is painted nicely. Do have some details, some battle damage and all that stuff sculpted into this one. Looks fantastic. Very, very nice sculpt. We see all the muscle details in this one. And like I previously mentioned, we have all the details in his shirt. We have some battle damage here as well. We have some rips and tears into his pants. The paint application on the bottom part of his shoes are a little bit messy. There is a little bit of overpaint there on the bottom part of his boots. Yeah, even on the back here too, there's a little bit of overpaint. Just the yellow lawns. Everything else seems to be painted nice and clean. His red little uh, rope that's going around there, a little band. There's some blue showing through here. So, yeah, I got to say, out of a lot of the ones that I've reviewed, a lot of band presto statues, paint application on this one is a little bit messy in some places. But for the most part, it's very, very minor. Some awesome details in his muscles. We have tons of details sculpted into his shirt. We have some battle damage, some scratches, and all that good stuff as well. And his iron bands and all that stuff are sculpted and painted nicely, which appears to be a separate piece, which is kind of cool. And the battle damage carries on down through here. We, uh, we see some damage on his knees, which is a very, very weirdly sculpted knee. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that, but those look weird. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of that. But the ribs and tears are painted nicely, no overpaint. I previously did a review on the Majin Vegeta, I think it was, and it was a clear rise version. And I said I was kind of on the fence with the clear rise ones as opposed to just your regular painted statues. That being said, though, I really like this one. Uh, we have translucent plastic here. It's the only translucent parts here. Uh, the bottom part of his pants going up past his knees. This little part of his belt and his uh, upper part of his robe is actually ripped off. The outer part of his shirt is translucent as well. And when it comes towards the mid of his back here, uh, it is painted more heavily. This is a pretty awesome version of Goku. I love the battle damage. I love all the rips and tears in his shirt. I uh, love the expression on the face as well. I think Ban Presto did a solid job sculpting and painting this one. I say it every time I do a statue review that I do not collect statues, but the more that I review them, the more I want to actually start collecting them. <laughs> and uh, I think I pretty much covered everything. Yeah, man, just a solid sculpt overall. I think uh, this one looks fantastic, sculpted fantastic. Nothing really to complain about. Like I said, just a little bit of overpaint, but very, very minor details. Other than that, a very nicely sculpted statue from Bandai. And for the most part, nicely painted as well. So it's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Want to keep this review nice and quick. If I had to rate this one out of 10 like I normally do on the channel, I would give this one a solid 8.5 out of 10. Actually, I would probably give it a 9 out of 10. Because the only real issues is the, the slight overpaint in a few areas. And it's just the fine details. The little lines on his boots. All their net, everything else is painted nicely. Sculpted nicely. So I think a 9 out of 10 is going to be my overall score. I do like the little stand. It actually works pretty good. Not bad at all. There still is a little issue if it's going to fall forward. Back, you're fine. To the sides, you're fine. But a lot of times, these bases actually do not stop it from going forward. <laughs> Just very, very slightly anyways. But yeah, it does stabilize it a bit. It does the job. It can probably stand without it, but I'm not going to take that chance because this is actually my buddy's. He lent it to me for a review, and I don't want it to fall over or break. That's a chance that I'm not going to take. So as always, a big thank you and shout out to my buddy Nathan for letting me review his statue. Once again, I do not collect statues. I collect action figures. Not that I do not like statues, but action figures, model kits, and all that stuff are my thing. 
As always, my friends, let me know what you think of our score of 9 out of 10. Let us know what you think of these Bandai or Band Presto Clear Rise statues. Are you guys a fan? Do you guys collect them? Also, let me know in the comments below who is your favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. As always, my friends, if you like this review, hit that like button and that subscribe button is there as well. We hope you enjoyed this review and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Keep collecting, stay safe, go buy some toys and statues.